Okay, I've been chatting recently with Neat Pete 45 about carbon pile cells and uh, just the very simple things that can be done to improve the output, like charging them on solar perhaps. Um, it's not the exact way that Carpen did his stuff, but uh, it seems to give some good practical results. So what I've got here is a cell made from the carbon rod of a dead AA battery and a piece of ferrite from an AM radio. Uh, the electrolyte is sea salt and rainwater, so very, very, very simple. Uh, I've got the thing showing 4.90 because it's being charged from the ambient light uh, that's hitting this homemade solar panel. And uh, these all need doing up of course, they're all very dirtied up now with being a couple of years old. But uh, they're doing alright to put a little bit of charge into this cell. So in a minute I'll disconnect one of the wires and we can see what's on it. Alright, what I've decided to do is to just uh, disconnect live as it were, see if I can do this without upsetting anything. There we go, keep the meter connected. And we're showing a very, very healthy um, and gradual decrease from that uh, approximate 5 volts that was coming in. We're now at 2.5, I'll come back in a few minutes time and see where it settles out to. But uh, as I say, this is just sea salt, carbon rod, uh, rainwater, and piece of ferrite. All right, so I've given this about an hour now, so uh, let's see what it's got on it. Well, that's pretty healthy. One point. Let's see if it goes down anymore. No, that's pretty solid. So 1.4 volts out of that very simple cell. And uh, now what I'll do, let's see what kind of amperage, I expect it's going to be very low, but uh, I'll put it on the milliamps. Ooh, okay, so, about 70, 70 microamps, so not a lot, but next we'll see if it can run anything like an oscillator. Just to note something should see this climbing back up there we go so so I've just stopped the video just there with the amperage plugged it back into the voltage and you can see that it's actually climbing pretty nicely again so it does bounce back quite nicely so let's connect up this blocking oscillator there we are quite a nice bright output there and the main thing I think about this, it really, is that there's no metal. There's no metal to corrode anywhere, so the salt shouldn't make a difference to those electrodes, and it should carry on for a long time. And that's really what I've been looking at with these, because this is my original carbon lead cell, which, as you can see, is still going nicely indeed after a couple of years. And there's no degradation on these metals. I get, oh well, a little bit of build up on the top there comes out. Uh, but uh, it's absolutely fine and has been for the last couple of years and that was carbon, lead and Epsom salts but uh, this one's even simpler so thanks for watching